Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rang Rouge Unit of the Reek. And today, we're taking a look at the WC-550 for the Chinese Army. There's actually not too much to say about this vehicle in a historical standpoint. It was developed during the 80s and finally put into the Army service as the 90s as an anti-tank guided missile system plopped on top a WC-550, which is the name of the transport, while the missiles that use is the Heat J-9 missile system, which has a range of over 5.5 kilometers. Now you may be wondering, why does this vehicle look an awful lot like a VAB? That's because at heart it pretty much is run. You see, during the 80s, the French were selling off a lot of their military equipment to other countries, China being one of them. So China brought a bunch of these fabs and other military vehicles, stopped buying them after a while, and pretty much reverse engineered them so they could make it themselves. In game, the WC-550 is a Chinese unit that costs a whopping 80 points. Rates is gear restricted to 1992, so only Cat A decks. It is type restricted to Marines and motorized, and it is also a prototype unit. And if you take a look at its run and only weapon, the HJ-9, which is an anti-tank guided missile system with eight of these missiles strapped on top, with a range of ground of three kilometers, accuracy of 70%, 26 armor penetration power and a reload time of 10 seconds. It's a very big and powerful ATGM system, has great armor penetration power and an insanely long range considering that a lot of ATGM's max range is only 2.8 kilometers. I think the only other ATGM's that has its further range are probably runs on the bottom of the cooler, but that's really about it. So it's Repping the HJ-9, you can really touch enemy vehicles out from a long ray array. And its miscellaneous that has run frontal armor, run side armor, run back armor, and you guessed it, run top armor. So a very lightly armored vehicle with medium size, poor optics, a ropping speed of 95 kilometers an hour, with a road speed of 150 kilometers an hour, and a great autonomy of 800 kilometers. And on top of that, it's also amphibious with a 48 km hour speed on the water. In battle, this is a run trick pony. You have a very powerful ATGM on top of a lightly armored vehicle. You want to keep it away from the bang bang and the boom boom and have it in your back lines so it can do bang bang and boom boom to enemy tanks at a far distance. You don't get many of these per card, you only get like four per card in a standard neck, which isn't an awful lot, and they are very expensive as well, so you want to make sure these things are kept alive. They are your crown jewels, and you have to make sure the enemy try not to blow them up, as they are very vulnerable to pretty much any sort of enemy fire. So, just as long as you keep them well in the back line, and with a clear line of sight against enemy tanks, you'll be plopping Leopard 2A5s to the clerks in an absolute heartbeat. And well, that's all I have time for. It's been another Rangrose unit of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and most importantly, take it easy.